Right guys, how's it going? Uh, it's a Saturday afternoon, my kids are in the background, so I do apologise if you hear them killing each other. So this tutorial is going to be quite raw. Uh, one of the users was asking on Facebook, and it was regarding interpolation, uh, mainly the bounce function. So it's pretty simple to be fair. So if we select the box, I'll enable keyframing just to save some time. I'll just click to set a keyframe. So on frame 1, you can see that it's set in the zero axis. So I'll go to frame 50. And on the X axis, I'll make it 5 meters. On the 100, I'll make it 10 meters, and you can see what I'm doing here. And on 150, I'll make it 15 meters. So we're essentially moving up in 5 meters stages. On frame 25, what I'll do is I'll raise the Z axis and I'll make that 3 meters. Now, because I've got auto keyframing on, it's keyframed the Z on frame 50, so I need to change that back to 0. On frame 75, I'll make that 3 meters again. And same again on frame 100, I'll reduce that down to 0. And on the last one, we'll just leave it. So we'll get a kind of action like this. Bounce, bounce, straight over. Now you can see here on frame 50 when it lands, there's no pause, there's no hold. And it essentially acts like a, a busier curve. It'll go up and down. So if you jump into the animation tab, so on frame 50, what I'm going to do is add an interpolation mode and I'll make it a sin function or a sign. So I'll select these case frames, right click, interpolation mode, you'll see here, sin. So what happens now is on frame 50 it should hold just ever so slightly and then bounce up. So what I can do here on frame 75, for example, on a Z axis, I can right click it change the interpolation mode and I can change this to an exponential and what that'll do is it'll actually hold it in the air and then it'll come down. It'll look unnatural but it's just to give you an example how easing works. So if we take a quick look here, so we have a nice hold, a nice bounce and then it see it kind of floats, it kind of reaches a top point and floats. Now this is the one the guy was asking for. So on frame 100, on the x-axis, if you right click, change that, and you can change that to a bounce. Now watch what happens when it gets to frame 50. See that natural bounce that it's gave? You can actually see here on the location. It gets high, bounces back, and then rests. So that's pretty much how interpolation in keyframes works. Uh, really you should be in the graph editor because you have a lot more control regarding things like that. Uh, this is only a dope sheet. But we'll take a quick look. We'll jump back into the layout, and we'll have a little look. So just by changing your interpolation mode, you can actually create nice effects. Now if you're really being fancy, what you can do is you can go in, and we'll add a modifier, subdivision surface, let's put it up a bit. Apply, then you can add another modifier, and we'll make it a wave. Drop the height a bit. You get this kind of nice wobbly thing. And if you want to go that extra step, you can actually run soft body dynamics over the top and that kind of bounces. So, hopefully, that'll address the guy's question on Facebook. I'll post that there in the next 10 minutes or so. Thanks for watching. Do me a favour, guys, give it a like and a subscribe. Helps the channel out. If not, I'll catch you later. Peace.